Oh my god. You came at a perfect time, Moto Omni. What's up, bro? Thank you for the raid, brother. Appreciate you. I'll take my island back. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Thank you for the raid, brother man. Hope you had a great stream. Hope you had an absolutely amazing stream. Make it a good one, Baka. I got you. Ready? I'm going moat start gangplank. Not only that, but I have zero runes. First strike, not a real rune. Absolute focus, scaling. Gathering storm, scaling. I'm down three runes, and I have zero starting items. I have a moat. I have a moat. That's how you know it's going to be a banger. That is how you know. Thank you for the raid, brother. Hope you have a good rest of your day, Odo, on there. my way back to Bilgewater. Alright, first thing we're going to do against Jax here. I'll even make this EDU for you. For the new ones. For the for the new people joining. Let's make this. First blood. Alright, here's what we're going to do. So, when you're against Jax, he can cheese you by going into this bush, no matter what top lane champion you're playing, and then run up behind you. Kind of like a Darius. So you always want to cover yourself right here. You want to cover yourself until like 129, and then you're going to place a barrel towards River. That way, if he does cheese you from behind over here, then you have a barrel to protect you. Because what you want is Jax to shove into you. You don't want to push into Jax. So I'm going to fake aggressiveness. That way he knows not to mess with me. And then I'm going to let him farm the wave. Mercy sank with I'll even fake an auto attack on him, bait his counter strike, and then auto a barrel instead. We're going to wait for these to get low. <gasps> It's fine. Out of this, boom. Again, the goal is to get him to shove into us, but it's not looking too likely right now. Unless we take a bad trade. Which we could do. He's gonna hit level two. There we go. Look at that. Perfect level two timing. He hits two, I hit two, no worries. I'll trade another auto. Then I was like, no, I shouldn't because he has grass buff. I like that though. Him trading like that is really good. It lowers the chance of me getting dope. Let me close out the other tab I had. Ooh, crumbs fucking eating my computer. We're gonna ward this bush. Just so I can hug this little corner here. Again, I don't care if I miss too many minions here. What I'm mainly playing for is for the wave to crash into me. TP back with moat. And look at that, we've got 40 gold. So we've made up for like three minions that we've missed, maybe four minions that we've missed. As long as we get the cannon, we're good. All right. Now something that's important is to never let yourself get bitched. So you're gonna flash for the cannon, and then you're gonna sit back under tower. Don't let anyone tell you who's boss. My name in their skulls. All right, now let's reset and we can buy Sheen Refillable. You are no one's bitch, bro. Look at that. Because of that Sheen, we have perfect gold. Do you see this? Perfect gold to buy our Sheen plus refillable. And now we can shove this wave into Jax and bully him. Yes, you lose a little bit of CS early game, but you're allowed to play aggressive now. Place a beautiful barrel right here. We're not going to get baited by him. We're just slow pushing the wave. There's a chance Shaco tries to gank us. That's okay. Do this. Barrel him if he comes close, but... We're waiting. Everyone I'm not gonna ward. If Shaco kills me, if Shaco ganks me, then I get ganked. Not much I can do about it. Hold the barrel no matter what. Orange. Auto. Q. Beautiful. We have a perfect trade on this guy. Ward like this. Watch your back. Hey, he goes for that. Go for a barrel. Now we're gonna control one him. Oh, he lives. We gotta be careful of Shaco. Ah, who cares? 
Listen, if Shaco kills us, he kills us, we already proved our point. We are the more Giga Chat top laner. Okay, as a matter of fact, maybe I'm not done yet here. You see I have a barrel coming up in three seconds? We're gonna reset here. We see him resetting, we'll reset. And if he fakes his, then we fake ours. And it's okay. I don't think he's gonna fake his though. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna buy a coal. And the reason why we're buying a coal is because we think he's gonna go plated steel caps. So if he becomes tankier, then we wanna be able to just farm. Also, buying a coal is just free most of the time in this matchup. Oh, he's dead. Enemy has been slain. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh my gosh, he's out. Never There's a chance Jack tries to zone us, but we're gonna keep walking. Right, we're gonna focus up. Q him. Barrel. Perfect. Make sure he can't get a plate with his demolish, and now he's gonna proxy. Okay. We got the kill anyways. The big mis the only mistake we made there was using our Q. Other than that, everything else we did was fine. He tried to fight us, but we are stronger. And look at that, we still got our coal. Nothing feels better than winning lane and then also having a coal. Because you're going to win lane, you're going to get all that gold, and then just by farming you're also going to get gold. Kidneys out. I could have farmed one or two more minions, but it's okay. Hits the spot. And now the game is a bit unplayable for Jax. So we have options here. We could go triple longsword, or we can go phage and get a lot of health and never die to a gank. I'm leaning towards probably the smartest option, which is never dying. So we're going to make sure we kill him first. We're going to go triple longsword. We've got our ult up in 90. we got our TP in 80. The next time we TP back, we'll get Trinity. And we're going to kill him. Jax is missing. Nothing. Jack is missing, we're gonna ping it for our jungler. We're gonna shove our top wave and then rotate. Jax will miss all six of these minions here. Nice. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna place a barrel right here and we're gonna shove under his tower. You might be saying, why are you shoving with the wave pushing towards you? Because I wanna kill him. You might be saying, but isn't Shaco top lane? Yeah, Shaco is top lane. So why are you shoving? Because I wanna kill him. What if you die, then I die. I got ult up in 10 seconds, we're gonna fight. Double passive reset there, and you should not. Okay, nice. I think Shaco's top. So we're just gonna leave here. I messed up my initial double passive, but I also covered his flash, which I think was smarter. Because if he flashes my barrel, then I want to be able to account for that. So my triple barrel did account for even if he flashed. We take it. Big. And now we have Trinity. So look at us as gangplank right now. We have Trinity Force at nine minutes. And we have a cult. And we have scaling runes. We are big. Huge, bro. Big, big, big. Absolutely huge. The wave is slow pushing towards us. What are we going to do? Are we going to freeze it to deny Jack's minions? No, we're going to kill him to deny minions. 
So we're gonna use our blue trinket here, where we can't normally reach. We're gonna use our control board here. We just play with Sheen procs there, and the second he jumps on us, we blow up the barrel. And that blowing up the barrel is uh, harder to do than you might think. Because sometimes Jax players will try to fake you out. They'll like walk towards you, making you think they're gonna jump, and then they don't jump. And then when they do jump on you, you don't have that big of a window to auto your barrel. Because typically they're gonna queue on you and then instantly hit your barrel. What I'm gonna do here is if he TPs. Oh, he did TP. Okay, this is a little imp. I'll take back what's So he's just fighting. Team cross on my auto attack by placing down a barrel. Okay, well he's a little tilted. Uh, that's okay. We thrive off people being tilted. Alright, so Shaco is shown on the map. He's mid lane. Yeah, he's just pissed off now. I mean, this is what happens a lot in top lane, right? People get frustrated, they just take every fight they can. He's a little bit of a psychopath. I mean, he's also a Jax player. It is what it is. We're not going to take the tower right now because we want Jax to suffer. We don't want this to just be a normal lead that we get. We want this to be a game-winning lead. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy a Dirt. We're going to buy... We're going to Orange and Base. We're going to do this. Now, for this game, Gangplank always goes a Lethality item, second item. Gangplank always goes a Lethality item, second. So you have your options. You got Opportunity for the most damage, Yomu's for movement speed and damage, and then Serpent's Fang for if they have shields. They have Sona, they got the shields here, they got Kaisa Old and Barrier. So if I go Serpent's Fang, Sona's not a character, but if I go Yomu's, then maybe I could make uh, more stuff happen on the map if I rotate faster. So that's what I'm deciding right now. What is more important to me, Yomu's, that movement speed, or Serpent's Fang? Honestly, I think Serpent's Fang is smarter. Because just making sure that a champion cannot be their character, I think is really powerful. Control 1. Control 1. He doesn't fall for it. Okay, he's still good. We're out of there, though. Ooh. Is there any world that we live here? There's not. You know what? Maybe we should have been five head and let Jax kill us. Because if Jax kills us, right, then he gets a gold reset. Wait, no, 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 no. Never mind. It's better to give to Shaco. I just remembered why you don't give kills to Jax. Never mind. The last time, or one of the last times I gave a kill to Jax, uh, aware. Aware. That's all I'm going to say. Aware. Please pivot to AP. AP's not good this game, though. AP's good if I have setup. I don't have setup. Well, Hecarim literally hits them away or her. fears them in different directions. So it's really, really bad to go AP. Did you just sell? Yeah, I sold my longsword. So longsword is 350, but it sells for 245. Meaning I lost 100 gold, but I don't really care about that. We're, we're rich. We don't care about uh, 100 gold. And we still got our full... Shit, my bad. Wow, oh, this guy really is just upset. He doesn't even hit me, he just hits my barrels. Pop gap, I guess. He, he, does, he literally didn't auto me. He just wanted to auto the barrels. My bad, bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry my barrels offended you. Alright, we gotta back up a little bit. We don't know where Shaco is. Shaco should fall lane. Okay. Alright, we're one away from Cole. What do we do about that? You know what I'm kind of feeling? I'm kind of feeling like making a little bit of a hero play. But I think the way that we do that is we do this. And we buy Swifties. Shut down. There we go. Double kill. 
They either run back or they run into me. They ran into me. We win. And now I can make my Jin go top lane. They didn't have vision of me. One more wave. Don't worry. I got my cold cash in. And I got a double kill. And I think the game's over at this point. Until I met you. What do you guys think? Is Jin talking about how much he hates karma? Or is he talking about how much he loves me? Dead will herald my return. That he would queue into the bush? Okay, never mind. They're tilted. <laughs> okay. My absence. I have a feeling that... Alright, we got Garen's Ignite out. We can't Garen combo us anymore. Garen can no longer do the combo on us. We can win. Alright, this game, they have three squishy characters, so I can go Collector. Like, Jax, even though he's 0-7, he's still a the little bit tanky. No but I don't care about that, because I can reach the back line. I can reach their backline, so I'm really not worried about it. Oh, we kind of fucked up a bit there. There could be a Kaisa here. If there's a Kaisa here, then that's a problem. Luckily, Hecarim is bitching him off of me. I, I respect that. Alright, Kaisa is actually top lane. They wanted to shut down the Yasuo. I don't want to reset until I have an item. Once I have an item, I'll be happy. We don't have it yet. Matter of fact, this is free first strike gold and a wave. Yeah, I have enough for my item though. I can reset. We'll buy collector, and then we are shilling. Boom, collector. All right, nice. Now we're three items at 17 minutes. Three items, 17 minutes. Cruelty for all. Another. Shaco jumps this wall. He will die. You don't do enough damage to me, Garen. Goodbye, Garen. You cannot do your combo to us. You cannot do your Garen combo to us. No, sir. I look like a weak man. Okay, we're doing a little bit of trolling. Just a little bit of trolling. I think he dies, doesn't he? I'm just gonna flash over. I have ult up in five seconds. Oh my gosh. There was a Shaco box waiting for me in the bush. He had it all mapped out. He went here to bait me. I ran into a box. Then he's 1 HP. I have to go over the pit because there's a Kaisa Sona this way. I go over. There's boxes here. Boxes in the bush. Nah, but he's a genius. Ishiko's a mathematical genius. But now I have double cloak. I think what my move is, is honestly grouping. I feel like if I split push, I'm not going to get a whole lot of value. Your turret has been destroyed. You know what? I could even do a 20 minute Baron. Flesh carries weight. 
<laughs> it's so smart for tanking. How many players do that? Alright, that's my call. Alright, now we get out. Good call. We got a lot of XP for everyone now. Like Yasuo's 14, we're all ahead in XP now by a lot. Yasuo can sign lane, we group mid. Jin looks like he's rage splitting up. I think he is at least. Are you for Chala and EU when the split starts? Yes. I'm going for Challenger once the split starts on EU. I don't want to have to match. <laughs> Wait, did Garen just ignore me? Did Garen just ignore me? I swear Garen just ran past me. Okay. One thing I will say is I don't like how this game is going right now. We haven't gotten any turrets, but Hecarim is getting stronger, but how much stronger can he actually get? A slit throat is I don't know how much stronger Hecarim can get. Actually, Hecarim gets pretty strong. Your team has destroyed. Yeah, Hecarim gets pretty strong. He just killed Sona, too. I lost my shit. Okay, uh, 2800 for IE. Hecarim is going for Cleaver third, I think. I mean, Hecarim's going to be doing true damage then. Are we gaming yet? Once I get IE, I will. Think about the item changes, it's too early to say. I think, um, overall, from what I'm seeing and hearing... I don't know what to think, actually. I haven't played a game, I don't know what to think. I found my hate in the fire. Burn. I almost died there. That was scary. Yeah, it seems like less damage. You know what? Yeah, the thoughts I would say is that we're gonna do less damage. We will be doing less damage. That's a good thing to say. Everyone will be doing less damage. Pistols or blades. Don't matter. Because every damage is getting nerfed, it seems like it'll just be another Enchanter meta. Enchanter items are cheap. I think it'll just be Enchanter tank meta. 
That's my guess on the upcoming changes. Is that enchanters and tanks will be the strongest classes in the game. Doesn't it seem like tanks will be OP? Yeah, it does seem like that. Hey, Hecram into it. Your turret has been destroyed. I am reborn of salt and brine. I actually died to that Jax, the two item Jax. He ended up flashing. It's I don't think it's worth using my flash. But you know what? They they might try to do Nash on spawn. I don't know. See also is strong. Hecarim's running out of base. He's trying to get the Nash. Game volume's louder than you? I'll lower it a little. I lowered it by 10. Oh my gosh, today was the Jax buffs, right? I came from Odo, I love your stream bucket, thank you, bro. Non pay chatter. Alright. Last item. We can either go Mortal Reminder. Or we can get we can get something like a Phantom Dancer. If we get Phantom Dancer, uh, no, nah, I think Mortal Reminder is just better. Yeah, I think Mortal Reminder is actually just better. Well, if this is happening, let's do Baron, guys. They're jungler and bot. Let's start it. I don't know why they keep throwing Baron just to kill Yasuo. I maybe get a flash, but I don't have Elixir, so it's not like I would have life stealed off anything. And he has Zonia still. I think we go Mortal Reminder. Destroyed. Need to break towers. If we don't break towers on this Baron, I mean, we're gonna get Cloud Soul. Never mind, we're fine. It's just a matter of what do we win in two minutes or do we win in like four minutes? Anti heal plus anti shield, a true team player. Yup. Yeah. Hey, GP's a really good user of both, actually. Even if you're playing APGP, you can buy Oblivion Orb, and then when you ult, they just die. They just die. No healing. My vengeance will Yasuo is a bastard. This Yasuo is a giant bastard. Wow. Alright. This Jax is the one who's been causing problems. Goodbye, Jax. Goodbye, Jax. Well, the game's over. I might as well TP. Alright, 
go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right. We could have spawn camped him, but hey, we did good. We did good. So that's all that's that's all that matters is that we did good there. Big, huge, absolutely a massive chat. What is this? A feedback update? Did somebody get reported? Did somebody get reported? I don't remember reporting someone. Also, chat. I want you guys to know that to get this account's MMR up, we are going to have to win 52 games of EU West Master Tier. Oh, no. To get Challenger, that is. To get out of EU West Master Tier, it'll be more like 38 games. 